just seconds away from the jobs report. Uh, Rick, we want it right on time. Take it away. Yes, we want it right on time. This is the October jobs, jobs, jobs report. And of course, we're expecting non-farm payrolls to be around 180,000, 150,000, 150,000. That versus 336,000. There are revisions coming. The cumulative revision over two months, minus 101,000. Uh, so that 336 turns into 297. Now let's move along, shall we? The unemployment rate, and do keep in mind our last look on the unemployment rate was pretty important because we had 3.8. It moves up again to 3.9, 3.9. 3.9 would be the highest level going all the way back actually to January, to January when we were at 4%. And just for a comparison, we were at 3.7 one year ago if you look at October of 22 versus October of 23. Now, uh, average hourly earnings up two-tenths. Last month was up two-tenths. It gets revised to up three-tenths. Up two-tenths is basically the lowest levels that we've had going back to February of 22. If we look at average hourly earnings year over year, they're up 3.9%. Uh, th that is something to, uh, excuse me, they're up 4.1%, up 4.1%. This is a new cycle low. If you look, since we hit 5% in November of last year, this is the lowest level. And to find a lower one, you have to go all the way back to June of 2021, where we were at 39 And once again, just to take a look back to last October, it was at 4.9. So if wages are something that are making many feel a little nervous, especially in light of some of the strikes and some of the settlements and some of the juicy contracts, we do see that it is coming down. It's still much loftier than 3.1 and 3.6 in Feb and March of 2020 pre-COVID, just to put some context to it. Average work week, 34.3. This follows 34.4. Uh, 34.3 has kind of been the cycle low that we've had on this move. We've had it several times. And finally, the underemployment rate, which is 7.2, it continues to move up. Maybe I saved the best for last. Labor force participation, 62.7. It's going in the wrong direction. Our last look was 62.8. That was the best since February of 2020. Interest rates, they always divine whether the report's good or bad, weak or strong. Well, interest rates are moving lower. As a matter of fact, as I'm speaking, we've just breached the 460 in a 10-year. We're trading at 456. How intense is 456? Well, we settled at 484 last week. 484 last week. That is something to pay very close attention to. And when you look at a two-year note, which is just hovering around 490, look at the difference. And, and how much it's moved down on the week. We settled at 5% last week, so it's only down 10 basis points. Uh, we see that the pre-opening equities, as evidenced by the Dow futures, is moving higher. Uh, we can all debate what the Fed's doing, what they're not doing, but if you want to just use conventional wisdom in the marketplace, let equities speak for that. And we've had a lot of End of the Fed world party. Many believe the Fed is done and they are partying. Maybe that party will be short-lived as servicing the debt and fiscal dominance seem to be dominating the headlines.